This is Mike from GoCellPhoneRepair.com, and this is for anyone who's having trouble installing their Galaxy S4 display assembly. What I'm going to do here first is show you how you can test the screen. If you've got test cables, you can do it that way also. Uh, however, if you have test cables, you probably don't need my help. So what I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and you can see I've got the back panel removed from the phone. And what we'll do now is just carefully disconnect the display connector here from the logic board. And sometimes these things are a little bit tricky to get underneath, especially if your tool's not nice and sharp. You don't want to pry at the top edge there because there are some components mounted on it. Uh, but once you get this disconnected, you can literally just move your new display over and kind of bend the old cable out of the way and just plug this in to the same place and you'll have most of the functionality you would have if it was fully installed as far as the touchscreen goes with the exception of the back and menu keys and then of course the home button you'd have to press those from the other side so once we get that plugged in just go ahead and put your battery inside hit the power button and then we'll let this thing turn on and if you see a splash screen that's a good sign but we do want to go ahead and let it fully power up and make sure this touch is working properly Otherwise, you're going to have a really hard time getting this thing off if you install it and find out that you have a problem later on. It's really easy to damage these if you're not super, super careful taking them off. So we want to make sure this is working the way it should be before we do the full install. So once you get it to power up, you go ahead and check everything. Look for any dead pixels, blemishes. Uh, dead spots where the touch sensitivity is not working because if you find the problem now you can send it back to the person that you bought it from or company hopefully uh, once you get it installed though again it's going to be very difficult to remove it without causing damage and it's going to be apparent that it's been installed and then you kind of have a good chance of running into problems where they say well you probably installed it wrong and uh, good luck getting a refund or an exchange once you know your screen is working okay, we're gonna take our pre-cut adhesive. This is the best way to install these. I've actually added some one millimeter here down around the uh, back button where some of the adhesive came off when I took the screen off. And this, this is the best stuff ever. A lot of people ask me what kind of adhesive I use. Whenever possible, I use the pre-cut sheets. You pull them off the big sheet and what you can do is just line this thing up perfectly and I recommend you get a couple of these just in case. They're very inexpensive, and if you mess one up, it's nice to have an extra on hand. And what you want to do is make sure this perfectly fits into the frame the way that the original adhesive does. They've got cutouts around for all the buttons. And what this does is it ma uh, maximizes the adhesion or the adherence or whatever the proper term is for your screen, which is really important because you don't want the bottom or top edge lifting up over time. So the more sticky stuff you have on there, the better. Once you have it applied, you're gonna have to be really careful to pull off this plastic sheet because the adhesive likes to stick to this plastic. Um, so just take your time, move really slowly, make sure you get the adhesive to stick to the frame. And once you get in between the two like this, you can just kind of peel it off and be careful down here where the thin parts are at the very bottom. And now you have a perfect double-sided adhesive uh, installation or application if you want to call it that and again I did add a little one millimeter here around the uh, button on the right hand side because those are supposed to be stuck directly to the glass so now I've got to go through here and kind of peel off the outer plastic so that this will be sticky as well. Right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and line this thing up. Now the problem is that sometimes these things are lined up correctly with the logic board and sometimes they're not and you have to make sure that it's exactly in the right spot. So fortunately you can kind of adjust this a little bit. There's a fold at the top here and you'll see shortly. Uh, first what I'm gonna do is push this through the frame once I've got it away from the display itself and then we'll just kind of lay it down and I'm gonna go ahead and put the logic board back inside of the frame put the main board screw into place, and then we'll be able to tell exactly where we want this cable to sit once we apply the adhesive. So go ahead and get this installed first. You do have to take the logic board out in order to get that cable through the midframe, unfortunately. So uh, that'll take you a minute or two to do. But once you do that, it's gonna give you quite a few advantages. The main one being making sure that this thing is perfectly lined up. So if you go ahead and plug it in right now, you'll be able to see Actually, you'll be putting it in the correct position that you want it to sit in once we install the display 
and attach the adhesive to it. So I'm gonna turn it over here and just kind of show you the position the thing, this thing is gonna go into. It's gonna fold down this way and then over onto the front of the frame. Now keep in mind, you have some adhesive on there, so it's gonna be a little sticky already. Uh, go ahead and take this little tab off. We're not gonna need that. We don't want any extra plastic pieces on the inside, obviously. And make sure you've got your earpiece mesh and your home button, because if you put this together without them, again, it's gonna be very difficult to go back and fix that problem. Now we have two pieces of uh, plastic here that need to come off. They're actually cut out separately from each other. One is at the bottom half, and the other one is the part that actually goes behind the flex cables. So you wanna make sure to remove both of those and be absolutely certain you've got everything in place and you're ready to go, double check, uh, you know, make sure you're not missing your home button and your earpiece, those are the most two important things. And then we can go ahead and install this into its original position. And this is going to allow that cable just to stay exactly where it's supposed to be. And so from here, if we go back later, and just check the home button to make sure it's clicking, work your way around the side. You should not have to apply much force. If, in fact, I wouldn't even call it force. You just wanna make sure everything's sitting flush. And then um, go ahead and install the battery if you wanna just double check, hit the power button, and everything should be working like new. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and feel free to share it on the social network platform of your choice. Check out some of my recent repair and product review videos and visit us on the web at gocellphonerepair.com. Thanks for watching.